67 years ago, nearly 70 years, Japan, after World War II, they built this very successful radio control bus. It is interesting because only one signal. But uh, what they are walking, let me show you again. The motor move. And then mechanical make the rear wheel drive, not high speed. And then if you push the button again, it will turn. If you push one more time, it will go straight. If you push again, turn another side and then go back to normal street. And one more time, it will stop. For today's standard, no any fun and a little bit complicated to control. But remember, nearly 70 years ago, 1955. If this is your toy, your father's toy, he will love it very much. And until today, this is a history of the mass production radio control model. I show you again how it work. First the signal. We will drive, the bus we will drive. Second the signal, turn right. First signal, go straight. Four signal, turn left. Five signal, go straight. And then stop. Repeat and repeat and repeat. Just need to touch this button. So now you know how the world's first radio control team model can work. It is not so simple or mechanical. The body is built by tin, like a tin toy. And you can see how to operate. It used the big battery, free for the radio control, free for the bus. And uh, you cannot imagine it's single signal, but it can go, turn right, turn left, go straight and stop. But uh, you must remember, this is 1955. It's a long, long time. If you got this bus at that time, I believe you are already 75. Thank you for watching.